Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Little did I ever think that I would give a eulogy for a monarch. And this really isn't a eulogy, just a reflection and an expression of sadness for our brothers and sisters in the United Kingdom and throughout the monarchy. Yesterday, as you know, Queen Elizabeth died. She was an extraordinary figure, not only as a queen of England, but for the world. She represented the capacity to keep tradition and ritual alive. She represented someone who cared deeply about her inherited past and also had the capacity to bring change. And although she was a royal monarch, she had a great sense of compassion and empathy for people, for all people. She was in a difficult position in that. She was often critiqued as the monarchy itself was critiqued. But yet she seemed to handle everything with a plum, with a great deal, a great deal of dignity and beauty. When I was listening to some of the reports about her death, I heard something interesting that I'd like to share. It was 80 years before the time of her death yesterday when she gave a radio broadcast to the children of England who were sent overseas to Canada, to New Zealand, to Australia, to South Africa, while the Nazis were bombing England. It was a message to those children that they should know that they're being thought of, that she understood the difficulty of being away from home and she wished them well. It was truly delivered beautifully, not just from the mouth of a 14 year old, but from anyone. And that seemed to be an extraordinary reflection of who she was and then ultimately who she became. Winston Churchill was the prime minister at the time and he had her give that speech. And that speech in some ways reflected the person that Queen Elizabeth became in very beautiful ways. So we send our condolences to all of the people who live in the United Kingdom and all of our friends who live under the monarchy. And we hope that uh, this period of mourning will be a period where there will be a lot of lessons learned from this great leader, again, who handled her responsibilities so very beautifully. Shabbat Shalom.